Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Not done a video for a while, a couple of reasons for that. Um, if you're waiting, by the way, for an update on uh, my biopsy on my prostate when I got shafted by Steve Barclay, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a little bit longer because uh, the old NHS is delaying me a bit. No complaints about the NHS, but uh, anyway, that's the way things are. So you will have to wait a little bit longer. But what I thought I'd do uh, is uh, an unboxing, an unpackaging. And if you're new to the channel, uh, or if you've just forgotten because I haven't been around for a while, the reason I'm wearing a cap is I wear a cap when I'm doing the unboxing, so you know what's going on. Now, this video could be a complete and utter failure. And you're going to say, like all your other videos, Julian, and you may well be right. Uh, and the reason for that is, uh, you may also know if you've watched one of my previous videos, I had a cataract operation, and the day before yesterday, I had a cataract operation on my other eye. Now, what that means, guys, is I cannot really see very much. Now, I yeah, I can see the camera, okay? I can see a kind of vague image in the uh, the screen thing beside the uh, the lens. So I'm, I know I'm in the picture. When I'm in focus, I have no idea whether you'll be able to see, well, you'll probably be able to see, unless you also have had two cataract operations, but whether I'll be able to see what I need to see in order to make this video is another matter. Anyway, get on with it. So here is the packaging, okay, nice packaging, plastic packaging. And if I can see through, oh God, I think the cataract operation, like, like Samson. You remember the story of Samson, Samson and Delilah, when he had a cataract operation and his all his strength was gone. Okay, now what we have in here is a case. Can you see that? I can't see that, but it is a case. What is in the case? It could well be a pair of... Oh, yes, it seems to be. And I'm, well, okay, well, I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so it's kind of show and tell, only it's a tell and show, right? Now, I have these, okay, which is a pair of uh, Nike, or Nike prescription sunglasses, okay? I'm going to put them on, and because this prescription was made for before I had a cataract operation, I now cannot see anything at all. All right. So if you would like these prescription glasses, because you share the same prescription as I do, uh, leave a comment in the comments down below of your prescription. And if it happens to match mine, I will send these to you. And if nobody has the same prescription, but would like these anyway, and would like to sort of cut out the lenses and put in their own lenses with a bit of super glue, you're welcome, and I shall let you have that. I also have a pair of uh, Rudy Project um, cycling glasses, which have a prescription insert. This is the prescription insert. Now, again, this is the same prescription. Is it? It's a very similar prescription to the one in the Nike sunglasses. So if you have a pair of Rudy Project sunglasses with a prescription insert, but for whatever reason you're not using your prescription insert because it happens to be the same as mine and you haven't got the same as mine, but these are the same as mine because these are mine. In other words, you have the same as mine. Then let me know, comment down below and I will send you this prescription insert and that should sort your life out. Now, because I couldn't see very well, I went up to uh, Boots. Boots was closed. Can you imagine that? There was a notice on the door, which I couldn't really read, but I did manage to read it. And it said, uh, our pharmacist is off today so we can't open the shop. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, what the, I mean, you go into Boots for, for other stuff, don't you? You buy, what do you buy? Makeup, uh, toothpaste, uh, camera films, if they still sell camera films. Um, you don't always have to go to the pharmacy. Anyway, it was shut, so I went to the chemist and I bought a pair of these. Now, these are what they call, what, what I call, what you call, uh, reading glasses. Cheap, off-the-shelf reading glasses. And can I read with them? Sort of, sort of not. So I won't be reading this particular leaflet. I'll hold this up so you can read it because I can't actually read it. Even if I put my reading glasses on, and I ought to do these people under a trade subscription act because I can't read this. And I'm not even sure that this relates to this particular thing. So you want to know what this thing is. Well, what this thing is, is a pair of cycling sunglasses and I um, watch Road CC on uh, on the YouTube, not, that's not YouTube is it, on, on the Tinternet 
and they did a thing of best accessories for 2023. And the first one, I think, was this, and it was a pair of sun cycling sunglasses by a company called Galibier, which is, uh, I think, written on here, although I can't actually see it. Galibier, uh, for those, who, those of you who don't know, uh, was a monk in the uh, 14th century, name of Jimmy Bob Galibier, and he lived uh, in the Alps, lived in a, a little hut on a, on a mountainside, and he had, had, a, had a really fierce, really fierce dog. It was a cross between uh, an American bully, uh, a Japanese fuck-off mastiff, a Swiss St. Bernard, and a Chihuahua. I mean, you can imagine the breeding difficulties of producing this monster. Anyway, Jimmy Bob Galibier had this dog, right, which didn't have a name because the dog was so fucking fierce, you couldn't name it, otherwise it would just go mad. And in the end, right, in the end, it devoured Jimmy Bob Galibier. And then because it was so fierce and angry and upset because it didn't like eating Jimmy Bob, uh, it bit his own head off. And as a consequence, the mountain on which Jimmy Bob Galibier lived uh, was given his name, and it is one of the great climbs of the Tour de France. So this company is named after the poor, unfortunate Jimmy Bob Galibier, and they make um, cycling a powell which I think is a, another word for uh, sunglasses. So here they are. They've made a pair of uh, cycling sunglasses. I can't be honest, they feel a bit, feel a bit kind of flimsy. Do you think they feel flimsy? Do, 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 shall I hold them up? I mean, oh, I'm still wearing my glasses. Sorry about that. So I'm going to put them on like that. And uh, now I can't see... Well, I can't see through them, but I also can't see what they look like because I can't see myself in the screen. So I'm going to be reliant on you uh, to make a comment. But I kind of think, um, you see, I thought, I, I bought these. I, I said to my friend, I said, I bought a pair of cheap uh, cycling sunglasses. And um, they said, how cheap? And I said, 49 quid. And they said, 49 quid? You call that cheap? Go to fucking decathlon, you get them for 4.99. And I kind of think, I mean, these are, these are photochromic. You know what that means, photochromic? It means when when you go out, right, you go out for a ride, and you get passed by one of those people in a BMW, you, you know what I mean? I went for a ride the other day, I got, I got ho ho hooted, tooted, horned. I was going to say horned at, but that sounds weird, doesn't it? I got horned at by three, count them, three, one, two, three, if you've got fingers, um, uh, cars. Not all BMWs, but um, anyway, so... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, photochromic. If you get passed by uh, a twat in a BMW, right, you just press a button on the side here. Can you see the button? Right? And it takes it takes a photo. All right? And uh, that's why it's called a photochromic pair of uh, cycling sunglasses. As I said, I can't see what they look like. They're by a company called Galibier. Uh, am I going to hang on to them or send them back and get a pair for four ninety nine from Decathlon instead? I'm not quite sure. Actually, you see, the thing is... I'm going to have to wear glasses, right? Which makes you think, you know, well, why the twig did you, you know, spend all this money privately to get two cataract operations and you still can't see? I mean, it makes, makes, makes you wonder, doesn't it? So I'm going to have to get glasses, uh, hopefully not the same prescription as these, because if I have then sent these to whoever leaves a comment saying they've got the same prescription, I'm going to be screwed, aren't I? I'm going to have to buy another pair with the same prescription, and that's just going to be, that's just really going to piss me off. So anyway, these are photochromic cycling sunglasses, feel a little bit flimsy. Do they feel like they're worth 49 quid? I'm not convinced at the moment, if I'm honest, but I did read because I Googled it, because I Google everything, because I want to try and find out about the universe around me, that um, sunglasses have the biggest profit margin of any item produced in any country by any company anywhere ever. All right? The profit margin is greater than that on spring, uh, spring water. You, you know when you buy a bottle of water? Right. And you think to yourself, why do I buy a bottle of water? All I have to do is get a bottle and fill it up from the tap. But you buy a bottle of water right, because they've fooled you into thinking that it tastes nice. So, water, for fuck's sake. What does water taste like? It tastes like water. What does that water taste like? It tastes a bit like water. Uh, uh, you paid £2 for that bottle. Does it taste nice? Well, yeah, it tastes like... What does it taste like? It tastes a bit like water. What was I saying? Yeah, and apart from 
natural, natural, come on, natural spring water. Okay, where else does water come from apart from natural? I mean, you can't make it, can you? Can you make water? I mean, if you could make water, why, why are there so many people in the world, you know, dying of thirst? So, uh, apart from water, the item with the single biggest profit margin in any country in the world is cycling sunglasses. So these cost uh, about 4p uh, to make. They retail £49. Uh, is that worth it? I don't know. Um, should you buy a pair? I have no idea. Have I worn these without cycling? No. Um, am I going to wear these without cycling? I don't know. And if I do wear them out cycling and decide I don't like them, I can't really send them back, can I? So this isn't really a proper review, is it? All I'm saying is... <sighs> I've had enough now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.